Hello, and a very warm welcome to our NT Royal YouTube channel. Prince Harry revealed he has been in therapy for the last seven years to cope with the loss of his mother during his keynote speech at a Warden Summit in Miami on Thursday night after being introduced on stage by Meghan. The Alternative Investment Summit is the first public appearance Harry and Meghan have made since they left the royal family two weeks ago in search of a private life and is believed to have earned them between $500,000 and $1 million. The star-studded event at the Juan Hotel South Beach attracted business titans and celebrities like Bob Kraft, Alex Rodriguez, and Magic Johnson. Sources told Page Six that Gail King introduced Meghan to the stage which was erected under an enormous tent on the beach. Meghan then spoke briefly about her as love for her husband's then introduced him. After the speech, they are believed to have had a private dinner with some of the other esteemed guests. Sari spoke about mental health and how he has been in therapy for the past few years to try to overcome the trauma of losing his mother. She talked about how the events of his childhood affected him and that he has been talking to a mental health professional. Sari also touched on Mexit, saying while it has been very difficult on him and Megan, he does not regret their decision to step down as senior royals because he wants to protect his family. She does not want Meghan and their son Archie to go through what he did as a child, does the source say. The visit to the luxury five-star hotel marks the first public appearance Meghan and Harry have made as a couple since their shock announcement that they were taking a step back from royal duties. While the pair have not confirmed their appearance, someone close told LMT Channel on Friday, I can confirm reports the Sussexes attended a J.P. Morgan gathering in Miami yesterday, where the Duke spoke. One insider said they were smarts to take the gig. It was a very smart move to get in with some of the world's richest people. The conference is all about building wealth for future generations, and making the world better for future generations, a topic close to Harry's heart. Harry talked a lot about his and Meghan's decision to step down as senior royals, because of the trauma he suffered and how he doesn't want the same to happen to his family. She said despite how difficult the separation with the British royal family has been, he does not regret their decision, saying that he and Meghan are optimistic about their future, optimistic about being able to be financially independent while still working on projects that mean a lot to them and supporting the charities they believe in, as the unnamed source told Page Six. It is not clear how Harry and Meghan, who were widely criticized for taking private jets last year after preaching about climate change publicly, traveled to Florida. Morgan's private Gulfstream jet had flown to Vancouver Airport in Canada, near to where the couple have been living since quitting royal life. It then left at at 12 p.m. Wednesday and landed in Palm Beach at 8 p.m. Harry and Meghan stayed at Serena Williams' home in Palm Beach during the appearance. It is unclear if they were on that jet. Palm Beach is around 80 miles north of Miami. As she left the hotel on Friday, LNT Channel spoke to Gail King who was coy about her involvement in the event. Hopping into a limo, she said. Swat interview. Why do you think they were here? When we pressed her for details, she smiled broadly and added, cryptically. Where do you people get your information from? I'm glad you're in Miami's. Harry's wife and an array of well-heeled investors and celebrities were said to have hung on the prince's every word as he came on stage. Harry told the audience he started seeing a therapist at 28 as he struggled with the trauma caused by his mother's death, Stish the insider. He said he felt trapped as a royal although he said that relationship with the queen was still okay. His details on the super-exclusive event were being kept under wraps today. But attendees are believed to have included Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez, Magic Johnson, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, the architect Norman Foster, Russian heiress Dasha Jakova, and her husband Stavros Niarchos. The Sussexes have been lying low in their $14 million Canadian hideaway with baby Archie since they left the royal family. The amount that they were paid for the event is so far unknown. Hello. Magazine is also reporting the pair were asked to present the Best Picture Award at Sunday's Oscars. Though they were as honored to have been asked, they turned it down, according to an unnamed source cited by the magazine. Ron Taraschin, CEO of New York-based PR firm 5W Public Relations, 
told LNT Channel that he would expert the couple to have made between $500,000 and $1 million from the appearance. One would imagine they flew privately from Canada to Miami, had a hotel suite, and hair and makeup artist, which could cost $100,000 to $250,000 in expenses, C said. Harry and Meghan will be the highest paid speakers that exist on the corporate market. I would not be shocked if they earned in excess of $1 million. Over the year their earning power could be unlimited. PR executive Simon Huck, who is a friend of the Kashanes, has already estimated that Meghan alone can make $100 million this year. Another report. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle believe they can achieve great philanthropic works now they have stepped down from royal duties to pursue a more private life, their friend David Furnish has said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to step back from the royal family to forge a new life for themselves with their nine-month son Archie at the beginning of this year. The couple, who are currently on Vancouver Island after dropping their HRH titles, will divide their time between the UK and North America. In their pursuit of financial independence, it has been speculated Harry and Meghan could follow in the footsteps of the Obamas in striking deals with film and television companies, including Netflix. Mr. Furnish, the husband of Sir Elton John and a close friend of the royal couple, cited Prince Harry's many charitable interests and said they feel passionately about giving back. Speaking ahead of the 28th annual Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Awards viewing party in Los Angeles, he told the PA news agency, they're just at an interesting juncture of their life right now. Those and I know how passionately they want to give back, and they really feel that they have a platform and an awareness and an opportunity to really do great, great philanthropic work. Z Mr. Furnish, a 57-year-old filmmaker from Canada, said Harry and Meghan are like families to him and Sir Elton and he is excited to see what they do in the future. He added, we have a lot in common with Harry and Meghan. Elton and Prince Harry launched our Minstar Coalition at the International AIDS Conference in Amsterdam. We've raised money and given money to Centivale, his HIV and AIDS children's charity work in Lesotho. The Zen Meghan and he both share a great love of Africa and so much of the work we do is based in Africa. In other news, Queen's calls on Beatrice and Eugenie to take on more duties after Harry and Meghan quit royal family. The Queen has asked Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie to take on more duties after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit the royal family. Her Majesty is said to want to fill the void left by her grandson Harry and the sisters' dad Prince Andrew after he was forced to step down from the firm. She now believes Beatrice and Eugenie should attend more events and carry out more duties. A courtier told the LMT Royal Channel Prince Charles is also understood to be on board, despite previously wanting to keep the girls away so he could have a slim down monarchy when he becomes king. A close pal told the newspaper, the royal family has already become slimmed down with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex giving up public duties. As the older members of the family retire, it will become slimmer still, so there are spaces to be filled. His Royal Highness is very fond of his nieces and would not stand in the way if they did want to carry out more duties. Mexit Drama Beatrice, who announced today she would wed Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi on May 29th currently works in finance and consulting. While Eugenie works at Art Gallery Hauser and Worth as a director. Beatrice and Eugenie are not currently considered senior working royals like Prince William and Kate, as they don't carry out duties full-time on behalf of the Queen. But it isn't the first time royal sources have predicted the sisters, who are ninth and tenth in line to the throne, could step into Harry and Meghan's shoes. Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel, by subscribe channel, like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Stop. Stop.